This is how you create the glass morphism effect in Premiere Pro. To start, I've already imported this clip onto the timeline, so let's start by duplicating it. You can do this easily by holding down the Alt or Option key while dragging the clip. Next, grab the rectangle tool to create a shape. If you double-click on the shape layer, the essential graphics panel will automatically pop up. Now, go ahead and make sure to change the fill color to white. If you prefer, you can add rounded corners to the shape. Then, select the duplicated clip and head over to the effects panel. Search for the Gaussian Blur effect and double-click to apply it. Make sure to apply the Gaussian Blur effect first. Once that's done, add the Track Matte Key effect. In the Effect Controls panel, increase the blurriness value to your liking. Since our shape layer is on Video Track 3, you'll need to change the Matte option to Video 3. Also, set the Composite using option to Matte Luma. For an extra touch, you can duplicate the same rectangle shape and lower its opacity. Depending on your background, Adding a border can enhance the effect. If you want a border, switch the fill color to a stroke, but make sure to keep the opacity at 100%. For this example, I won't be adding a border. Now let's move on to adding other elements. I'm going to add the Premiere logo, adjust its scale and position values to fit your design. Similarly, you can add your text elements as well. Feel free to tweak the font, font size, and alignment to suit your preferences. To animate the first rectangle shape layer, move forward a few seconds in the timeline. In the Effect Controls panel, click the stopwatch icon next to position to set your last keyframe. Now, move back one second and increase the Y position value. To create a smooth animation, right-click on the first keyframe and set the temporal interpolation to ease out, and ease in for the last keyframe. You can also drag the last keyframes handle towards left to adjust the velocity. Next, copy these position keyframes and paste them onto the second rectangle shape layer. For this shape, it might be better to increase the opacity value to 0.3. We'll apply the same slide-up animation to our Premiere logo as well, but this time, let's add a fade-in effect. Set the last keyframe of the opacity to 100% and the first keyframe to 0%. In the same way, animate your text elements. Just make sure that before each old animation ends, you add the keyframes for the new animations. And this is what you will end up with. Monster, 